In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can incorporate a horizontal chat box into your stream, and the best part, it's completely free. Let's get into the video. How's it going, guys? I'm Brandon. I'm here to improve the streaming experience, not only for you, but also for your viewers. And in today's video, we're talking exactly about that. Not only are we going to incorporate your horizontal chat box completely free, but we're going to talk about how you can put it on every one of your scenes and put it to where it's going to use very minimal screen real estate so that you can put it on all of your scenes. Let's get into it. Step one, go ahead and create a Streamlabs account if you haven't yet, or go ahead and sign into your Streamlabs account using your streaming platform. For me, I'm just gonna go ahead and log in with my Twitch. You can do it with whatever you want. Side note, again, if you want to link all of your other platforms, this is a good time to do that under your account settings so that you can have cross-platform chat. Step two, on the left side, we're actually gonna click all widgets and choose chat box. And this is gonna take us to where we're gonna be able to edit and put in everything for our chat box. While you're in this chat box editor, we're gonna first go down to the very bottom and we're gonna click enable custom HTML and CSS. And this is gonna pop up some Java code that we can input all of the information that's going to change this. All copy and paste, so don't freak out about all these characters. I'll show you where to get it. Step three is to actually get this code working. So in the description, there is a website for DJ Lefave. He has a YouTube channel and he's the one who actually wrote this code or at least compiled it on a place where we could all get it. But you're gonna go to that website and scroll down and you'll see that he's put it in here as text code. All you're going to do is simply copy and paste the HTML, the CSS, and the JS into the appropriate files over here. Once you've done pasting all of that code, you can scroll up to the top and you can see that it's actually right here. You can see it going ahead and previewing what it looks like. Go ahead and take some time and edit everything you would like here from your text size, as well as the font, et cetera, what you want. Do all of that on your time. But the next step, which is step four, you're going to copy this URL. You can see it right here. Go ahead and hit copy and then put it into your OBS as a browser source. So I'm gonna do that now. Just a quick cut in, if you're getting value out of this tutorial, do me a favor and click the like button so that more people can get access to this tutorial. Let's get back in the video. All right, right now you're staring at an infinite display of me, so I'm very sorry if that's really confusing, but we're gonna go ahead and add a browser source and we're just gonna call this one horizontal chat. I'm gonna name it two because I actually already have one of these made. And in here, we're gonna go ahead and place that, uh, place that URL and we're gonna set our width to 1920 and our height to 1080. The reason we're doing that is so that it's going to go ahead and put it to the canvas. If your canvas is a different size, put it to that canvas. We're gonna click okay, and nothing is going to happen, but if I pull up Twitch Studio and go ahead and type a couple things in my chat, you can see that that's going across the bottom of the screen. If I continue to type test, it's gonna to continue to stack as it goes across the screen. Step five, if you're wanting to trim down this source so that there's only one line of text, make sure you go ahead and select the horizontal chat source and hold alt on the keyboard and grab this top moving dial and move it down. What do you even call these, moving dials? crops, something, I don't know, but drag it to where it's just above the other text and you can click off and you can see that this is now put it to where it is just at the very bottom and you don't see that second line. Make sure you lock it, save it, edit it, do what you want with it, make it yours. If you want to see more videos about streaming tips and tutorials for your stream, check out this playlist over here. And if you want to see why I switched to streaming on YouTube and Twitch and ended my Twitch affiliate contract, check out this video over here. I'm Brandon, and welcome to the darkness. We'll catch you next time.